George! George! What are you doing up there? What? Please. A little too short, but hey. George! Again with the kissing. There's some people here I'd really like you to meet. This huh? is Amy Taylor Spinner. She's actually going to be our press secretary. I was hired to be the political strategist for General Washington's campaign. I'm really, really excited. It's a far cry from Walgreens on Street Road, but you know what? I think I can do this. And this is Earl Grove. He's going to be our campaign manager. I don't know what I'm going to do. Apparently, I've got to get a 300-year-old man elected president of the United States. I don't even trust my own grandfather with a toaster, but apparently, he's going to run the country. Perfect. He's actually got some really great ideas for our campaign messages. Good, good, good. I could use you. Earl. Darling. Hi. How do you stand on important issues such as um, the wigs? Well, sir, the uh, wig is an important symbol of authority, but what I'm more interested in is your position. Where's your wig? It's being cleaned and powdered. Good man. Good man. I like that. What I want to know really is what's your position. Ah, <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. It just read my mind. I was thinking here, as far as the position, maybe a little lower. I've been working on like this, which is at the top. Oh, that's, very, nice. that's very, very presidential, sir. Wait. You can clearly see up in the statue. I can work with this. Oh, this is hey. what I'm talking about. Brilliant. Oh, oh, oh George. I'm sorry. Um, so, um, I think George Washington is so hot. <gasps> I'm going to do my best, my best, to get General Washington to win this election. Amy and I have been very helpful to our campaign, especially that Amy. She always seems to go above and beyond. She straightened out my sword a couple times. I think, she, I think she likes committed. you too much. That's all, that's all I can say. No, she's, she's committed to our crowd. She wants to bring me into the White House. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, probably carrying you, actually. To help raise money for the election. We're doing community service, which I've always wanted to do, but I never did it. And I'm going to work really, really hard. Now make sure you get all the trash, Earl. I'm campaign manager for George Washington. I can't lose. That guy won twice, and that's back when they used to throw wooden nickels into buckets to decide who was going to be president. I think I know a little thing or two uh, about being president, hey, number one. Uh, and I hung the banner, which I know will work for pretty much the entire nation, so I'm not sure about that. I might put one more banner, but that's all I need. Two, I think, is maybe three. That'll be plenty. Earl wants to shoot the commercial, which is fine by me, but uh, they want to do some sort of viral thing, which is, <coughs> I, I, I sounds a little sickening to me. You say he's got no image? I'll give you image. There's only one man with the experience and the fortitude to restore America to its former greatness in the world. A genuine patriot who has never lost sight of the higher ideals upon which our nation was founded. George Washington. A real war hero, <laughs> with hands-on experience chasing evildoers right out of the country. With the business end of a musket, if necessary. Oh, glorious! A visionary with a history of getting things done, without whining or allowing details to get in the way of the big picture. We love George! We love George! A no-nonsense leader with no tolerance for mudslinging politics. A man's man who's ready to man up to the country's most thankless job just like he did over 230 years ago. I was here first! The first president. The next president. George Washington. This is Bucks County, and I crossed here. Wait till your father gets home. George Washington for president? <laughs> no, it. Next time on GW08. What is this uh, Obama I've been hearing about? Hey, Obama. I've had... Obama? Obama, my mama. I had that yeah. once. Obama, very painful. I lived for weeks with that. A Barack and my Obama. Ouch!